Pull-ups are one of the best exercises you can do for building muscle on your back. A few exercises rival the simplicity and effectiveness of the pull-up. With nothing more than a sturdy bar and your own body weight, pull-ups have the power to sculpt, strengthen and redefine your physique in ways that only a few other exercises can match. But what is it about this seemingly straightforward movement that makes it so transformative? Make sure to stay till the end of the video. So you know what not to do when doing pull-ups. The primary muscle used in pull-ups is the latissimus dorsi and is responsible for the pulling motion, which helps bring your chin above the bar. Growth of the latissimus dorsi contributes to the width and thickness of the back, leading to a greater V-shape on the back. The second muscle activated in pull-ups is the biceps or brachii. As you pull up, there is elbow flexion in the arm, which is where strength and power is needed to contribute to the lifting motion. The next muscles used in pulls-ups are the trapezius and rhomboids. The trapezius covers the upper back muscles and neck. Specifically, the upper and middle trapezius is used in the pulling up stage of the pull-up where your shoulder blades move towards the spine. The lower fibers of the trapezius muscles assist in depressing the scapulae during the downward phase of the pull-up. This action helps control the descent and ensures smooth movement of the shoulder blades. The rhomboid muscles located between the shoulder blades work together with the middle trapezius to retract the scapulae during the pulling motion of a pull-up. They help pull the shoulder blades towards the spine, promoting proper posture and shoulder alignment. In addition to scapular retraction, the rhomboids also contribute to stabilizing the shoulder blades and maintaining their position throughout the pull-up movement. This stabilization is crucial for optimizing shoulder function and preventing injury. The deltoids play a crucial role in stabilizing the shoulder joint during the pull-up movement. As you perform pull-ups, the deltoids help keep the shoulder joint steady and supported, preventing excessive movement or rotation. Increased muscle endurance. Performing multiple repetitions of pull-ups challenges your muscles to work continuously over an extended period, gradually building endurance in the muscles involved, especially in the back, arms and shoulders. Consistently performing pull-ups and gradually increasing the number of repetitions or sets challenges your muscles to adapt and become more resistant to fatigue. By gradually increasing the workload over time through progressive overload, you can improve muscle endurance and help sports with a swinging motion like tennis and badminton. Core stability. While you may think that pull-ups only target the upper body, it also targets your core. If you have been practicing pull-ups and you have been able to increase your pull-ups, you may notice you have a strong core just by tensing your abs. Having a strong core provides a stable foundation for the rest of your body during pull-ups. It helps keep your torso rigid and prevents excessive swinging or swaying, allowing you to execute the exercise with proper form and reduces the chances of muscle imbalances. Improved grip strength during pull-ups, your hands are continuously engaged in gripping the bar. This sustained tension over time helps to strengthen the muscles responsible for grip, including the muscles in the hands and forearms. The longer you can hold onto the bar during a pull-up, the more time your grip muscles spend under tension. Over time, increasing the duration of your pull-up sets or adding weighted pull-ups can further challenge your grip strength. How to do pull-ups. Grip the pull-up bar in an overhand grip with your hands, just wider than shoulder width apart. Make sure your body is in a straight line to begin with. Engage your core muscles. 
to stabilize your body and avoid swinging. Begin the pull-up by retracting your shoulder blades, pulling them down and back, and engaging the muscles of your back. This helps to initiate the movement and ensures that you're using the correct muscles to pull yourself up. Pull yourself up towards the bar by driving your elbows down towards the ground. Focus on pulling with your back muscles rather than just your arms. Bring your chest towards the bar while maintaining a controlled movement. Continue pulling until your chin clears the bar at the top of the movement. Keep your neck neutral and avoid excessively arching your back or swinging your legs. Slowly lower yourself back down. Resist the urge to drop quickly and focus on maintaining tension in your muscles throughout the lowering phase. Once your arms are fully extended again, repeat the movement for the desired number of repetitions. Remember to breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. Focus on breathing rhythmically to maintain a steady pace throughout the exercise. Now you know the proper pull-up form, let's get into what not to do when doing pull-ups. Avoid using momentum to swing your body and kip or jerk yourself up to the bar. This not only reduces the effectiveness of the exercise, but also increases the risk of injury, particularly to the shoulders and lower back. Engage your core muscles throughout the exercise to stabilize your body and maintain proper form. Avoid letting your hips sag or arching your lower back excessively, as this can increase the risk of injury and reduce the effectiveness of the exercise. Don't hold your breath. When you hold your breath, you deprive your muscles of oxygen, which is essential for energy production and muscle function. This can lead to premature fatigue and decreased exercise performance. If you like this video and are still struggling with pull-ups, check out this video right here that can help with building a solid foundation for pull-ups and it also contains a hanging challenge. Be sure to check it out and if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.